Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Stuff We Play, where I'm going to take you on a tour of my real game room, consisting of several hundred games and over 40 consoles. So, first things first, let me take you over here to the entrance of the room. It's closed right now for sound purposes. So, let's get started. Now, you might recognize this as a shelf where I filmed in front of for a lot of my earlier episodes of Stuff We Play. Since then, I've been going to university in Canada. Uh, over here, we have a just kind of a shrine to weird or horrible things. Like, uh, I have... Dead or Alive Extreme 2 and 3, I don't have the original up there because, well, I don't have space for it. I have E.T. for the Atari 2600, which is often considered one of the best games ever made, along with Superman 64, which, as we know, was the best-selling game for the system, along with Crewball for the Genesis. We also have everyone's favorite Animal Crossing game, Amiibo Festival, with uh, some Tom Nook and some Nookling Amiibos, and yes, we have a Frogger arcade machine. It works so it requires good lighting. Next to that we have my Pokemon Sun and Moon Steelbook editions unopened if only because I was impatient and that got shipped here so I went out and just bought a copy of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I have a baseball signed by the 2005 Houston Astros. I'm a bit of a baseball fan. We have my reproduction copy of Mega Man to Wily Wars and we have more amiibos and just random cool art and stuff. We have books for when I feel like doing something of the literary variety. We have manga for when I feel like doing something of the Japanese literary variety. And I have trinkets that have gone from around the world. Things here consist of pictures of my dogs, so things like that ship in a bottle, which is from Italy, to that uh, fallen over king puppet, which is from China. I mean, a lot of this stuff's from China, but that's its point. I have instruments, a lot of these I actually got in Singapore. This right here, my dad brought me from Japan that ukulele I got in Jamaica, and that gong I actually just got at 10,000 villages downtown. Down here we have some books. We have a binder, which is where I keep all my... Here, let's flip through this actually, ladies and gentlemen. We have my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Some to note would be Pokemon and Drake and Josh, some PC Engine Turbo Graphics games, and my one bag of e-reader cards. After I get past that last shelf, we get to my uh, controllers for all my modern consoles. I keep them in plastic bags to keep them all nice. Next to that, we have all my Game Gear, DS, 3DS, PSP, and Vita games, an extra camera, and uh, a weird little Guitar Hero plug and play. So then we move over here. Over here. Now, this is my corner where I just keep random stuff. Uh, this is a camera bag that I keep my camera in. That's one of those horrible Crosley Cruiser record players. I found it at a garage sale somewhere and just put it there. I have a real record player in the other room. I have a little tape deck that I found at my grandmother's house where I was having her cleaned out. Uh, next to this, we have my DVDs and my Blu-rays. Yes, that is a Neo Geo Pocket Color right there. Next to that, we have some loose Neo Geo Pocket Color games. I only own one complete one. That's over there with the 3DS stuff. We have, I have a Sonic plug and play. I have my Mega Man 25 book. I have my damn I'm lost sign. Remember if you're feeling lost or just want to comment it, comment damn I'm lost down below. And I have this, which is a, it's a Japanese train set. Uh, what's interesting about this train set is it is an electric train set. It's in a Z scale, which is uh, until a few years ago was the smallest possible scale of trains, which is one 250 scale, but it's been surpassed by the Japanese T scale, which is 1480, and I really want some of those. Below there, we have some of my portable game consoles. I own most every single version of DS except for the DSi XL, every single version of Game Boy except for the Game Boy Lite, e reader, Game Gear. Below that, we have more. Uh, I also own a Wonder Swan Color, Genesis Model 3, PC games, CDs. 
more DVDs, and some Turbo Graphics games in the box. Now, as we move over here, yes, more trains. My dad and I mostly collect O and standard gauge trains, and we have an actual uh, an actual train room up on the second floor of our house. Which, if people want to see that, I could definitely give a tour of that. That's kind of been a project we've been working on uh, since I was a kid, and it's gone through many forms. But that's besides the point. So, yeah, most of this uh, is more modern stuff, though. I do have some uh, pre-World War II stuff. This right here is my prized possession. That is my Blue Streak set. My dad got that for me for Christmas one year. I love it. Uh, I just really love vintage toy trains. Up there we have toys and board games, erector sets. Down below, you can kind of see it, is my record collection. Most of that was my parents back in the day and I'm very ha thankful that they gave it to me. And below that is most of my D&D figures that uh, Kenzie's dad gave to me, so thank you Kenzie's dad. He used to own a comic shop. Then we get to the games. Up here we have a bunch of plug and play consoles. We have my lethal enforcers gun. And we have, uh, up here we have some box Genesis and Mass System games. Yes, that is a second repro cart of Mega Man to Wily War. So this one's from AliExpress and stopped working after a couple weeks. Up there we have my box copy of Dragon Quest, my Sega Mark III copy of Space Harrier, and my uh, Super Retro Advanced Game Boy adapter for the SNES, Genesis Game Genie, Corpse Party Blood Drive, Bubsy for the Genesis that I won from Tylo, Tylo, I run one from Tyler from iRetroGamer.com at last year's Retropalooza Houston, the Blues Brothers for Super Nintendo, Conker's Bad Fur Day over here, and my most prized gaming possession, which is my copy of Earthbound that my parents gave me a few years ago for Christmas, and uh, I'm never selling it just for that because. It's not so much it's a rare game, but it's both a rare game and a sentimental game for me. So, uh, I don't even think my parents realized how rare it was. Just that I wanted it and that, that really meant the world to me. Now, below that, we have, uh, kind of everything. I'm low on space. Mainly SNES, N64, Famicom. And then below that, we have... Man, the lighting's getting worse as we go along. Some NES, uh, official on the bottom, along with some, like, Color Dreams or whatever games. Including my holy trinity of shitty Christian NES games over here. And then some loose Genesis, some loose Master System, a loose Sega SG-1000 game, my only SG-1000 games. My copy of Lethal Enforcers because I was playing it and because I'm out of space for it. My favorite NES game, Mega Man 6. Next to that we have a DDR a DVD game I found, Disney Infinity, and a ColecoVision flashback that my good buddy Colin got me. Next to that, we have all my retro controllers, also in plastic bags, except for the Turbo Graphics controller because I've been playing that. Uh, extra cables, need to neaten that up. Down here, we have yet more literature, because I like books. We have a really cool looking Pac Man plug and play, a really cool looking third party NES controller, and Atari Video Pinball, which here, I'll pull out. It's a uh, this is a first generation game console, but it's actually not Pong, it's Breakout. Next to that is Pong. Over here we have my TI-99 4A computer. And then right here, in the, the ultimate shitty lighting setting, is my Atari 2600 6 Switch Woody with a bunch of games. Now I showed you my rare games earlier, my copies of Earthbound Conquer's Bad Fur Day. However, I also own a copy of Eden, The Search of Eden, which means my, the only game I'm missing, my holy trinity of SNES games is Chrono Trigger, and I'm sure I'll get that at some point. And as for rare NES games I own, I actually don't own any. I mean, I own Mario Duck Hunt, which is super rare. No. What I do own, which is really cool because it's kind of a personal thing, is this copy of Gradius, which I have signed both by Alpha Omega Sin and Wood from Beat 'em Ups, which is really awesome. I, I got that done at Retropalooza Houston last year, and that was... Awesome. Over here is my editing setup for when I'm down here with my iMac, microphone, 2DS, which I'm actually giving to Emily, and my 3DS XL, which is the Mario and Luigi Dream Team Edition. Great looking system, terrible game. Over there we have 
my Mega Man plush along with a boxed Game Boy Pocket. Uh, we have some uh, posters over here. These are mostly vintage circus posters. And you'll understand why I have those in a sec besides the fact that they look cool. Up here is actually something from a friend of Ambrose, Slideman Blues. He was a busker in Victoria, BC. Awesome guy. Hope he's doing all right. And then up here we have my circus train. 30 cars. Yeah, the, my longest set. Uh, and that's really cool. But above that is my actual train. And yes, it runs. So anyways, back to the room itself, we have my gaming couch. It's a comfortable place to rest my ass. It does, in fact, recline. We have my gaming laptop, or not so much gaming laptop, but my laptop. I don't actually have a PC playing retro games. I have an old laptop, which I use, but that's in the other room. We have this binder where I keep all my loose PC games and just disc-based games in general. If it's disc-based media and it doesn't have a box, it goes in there. Right over here, which is my South Park Stick of Truth poster, I filmed from that. My two guitars, my ukulele, drums. And now here we get to the main attraction. My setup. Two TVs, one CRT. This was actually my room as a kid. And one, uh, I don't even know how big. 1080p HDMI awesome newer TV, which I only got about two years ago. Yeah, this is where I keep all of my consoles uh, and uh, most of my games. If it's dis a disc based game, I probably keep it over here. What's really cool about this is with any of the older consoles uh, that are hooked up, unfortunately, over composite right now, I haven't had the time to switch to HDMI. I can switch and have the Older console displayed both on the HD TV and the CRT at the same time. Though, for the sake of this video, we're going to have two different games shown. Which, uh, for those wondering, are Bonk's, Aven Bonk's Revenge for the TurboGrafx-16 on the CRT and the 2011 version of Sonic CD on the main TV because that is my favorite game of all time. Now, I hear you saying now, ladies and gentlemen, well, James, you just skimmed over your consoles. Come on, man. You were showing us trains for half of that. And I'd say two things. That First off, fuck you. I love trains. Second off, well, I'm going to show you every single console I own now. TurboGrafx-16. Sega Mark III. NEC PC Engine. Sega Genesis Model 2. Sega 32X. Sega CD. Sega Genesis Model 3. Sega Genesis Model 1. Nintendo Wii U. PlayStation 4. PlayStation TV. Xbox 360 Slim. PS1 revision with the, the really, really nice portable screen. Retro Duo. Sega Saturn with the action replay card so I can play imports. Sega Master System. PlayStation 2. Wii. Dreamcast. Nintendo 64. Nintendo Entertainment System. Neo Geo Pocket Color. Original model Game Boy Advance. Wonder Swan, the original version, not the color. Uh, I got that wrong earlier. PSP 3000. Sega Game Gear. Game Boy Advance SP AGS 001. This is actually the same one I, I got when I was roughly seven years old. Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101. This is the model that has the best screen out of all the Game Boys. Nintendo DS. Original model. Game Boy. Launch model. 3DS. The uh, original version that has all the Ambassador games. I actually had bought this at launch. I was. God, it must have been like 13. DSi, this is actually the same color as the one I had, but this one was actually originally Kenzie's and she gave it to me. Nintendo DS Lite, Game Boy Micro, 
Game & Watch Octopus. Game Boy Color with a weird sc screen thing. This one actually used to belong to my sister Rachel. Game & Watch Keychain thing that doesn't work for some bloody reason. 2DS. 3DS XL. Complete in box Game Boy Pocket. My iPad. OG Xbox. Atari Video Pinball. Weird Pong Cologne. I have this weird VTEC. Turbo Express learning thing. Atari 2600, 6 switch wood grain. TI 99 4A computer. And finally, I have this weird Fama clone, which is built into an N64 controller, and it also has a, a converter in it so it can play NES games. This is what I actually used before I owned a proper NES or a Retro Duo, and god is it uncomfortable. I need to do a review on some Fama clones or even plug and plays at us whole someday. So anyways, that's it for today's episode of Stuff We Play, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the game room tour. I'm probably going to make this a yearly tradition. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Vidme, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, yada yada yada. I'm plugging myself. I love all of you. That's actually not, not me being businesslike. Seriously, I appreciate every single view we got. And I guess I will see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, thank you for watching.